Hello and welcome back to Affinity for Games. In this tutorial, um, we're going to be talking about how to actually get your USB Xbox wired controller set up correctly in the uh, emulation station. Uh, I've tried a number of different things. None of them have worked. So this time, I'm going to show you what has actually worked for me. Now, it's still not perfect, and I can't take credit for this. It wasn't developed by me, uh, edited, or anything like that. I found it in a forum, and unfortunately I can't find the forum anymore uh, because it's been several weeks or so and I forgot to bookmark it. Uh, so I can't give the person who created it credit, and I'm sorry for that. But uh, this worked for me again, and it should work for you guys as well. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download this retro art zip file and then you're just gonna unzip it to somewhere like your desktop uh, it's easy to do you would just right click on it and then hit extract all and then you would say to the desktop or whatever location that you want to browse to and hit extract so once you have it extracted it should look like this this retroarch.cfg for configuration uh, the file itself you could go ahead and email to you so once you go over to your Raspberry Pi, I have the remote desktop here brought up in front of me. You can then go to your email and you can save it to your desktop. Now once you have it saved to your desktop, you're going to want to open File Manager, which can be accomplished by clicking on File Manager right here. Or you can click the LXDE icon, go up to Accessories, and then go down to File Manager. Now, once you have File Manager um, opened up here, just go ahead and click in the address bar up here, and then type this, slash, that's a forward slash, opt, forward slash, retropy, forward slash, configs, forward slash, all, and it should immediately bring you to this section right here. You're just going to want to go ahead and delete the existing RetroArch configuration, and then just paste in the new RetroArch configuration. Um, and then that should actually be it. You should just go ahead and reboot your Raspberry Pi. It should take you back into Emulation Station um, for everything to take effect. And then you should be good to go on actually playing most of the video games. And I do apologize. Uh, the dogs are acting up quite a bit at the moment. Alright, and of course you can still try any of the other uh, configurations as to actually going in and setting them up yourself, but this, like I was saying before, this was definitely the way that worked best for me.